Hey guys, Rumbly Super Sad here, back again this time playing Uther from World of Warcraft. Gonna be going either a support type of hero or maybe even, let's see, maybe even a more of an aggressive offensive version of Uther. Do they have a healer themselves? It looks like they have nobody other than Gul'dan who can heal himself. Um, and then Tracer obviously can as well. Yeah, let's go with like more of an aggressive uh, because no one really has a healer on this side so I can kind of mess around on my end without it being too detrimental to my team. So we're going to go with more of an aggressive build, going into more of the uh, constant stuns with a little bit of damage coming out on our end too. Uh, but definitely going to be able to do quite a bit of crowd control for our team regardless of going more offensive. <clears throat> Alright, so we're just waiting for... Let's see, it looks like we have 40-40, two 40s on each side. And it looks like about even as far as levels too on either side here. So that's pretty good. Pretty good equally balanced match going on. Definitely taking forever to go through this screen though. Looks like we're going to be doing Dragon Shire. So we're going to want to get the two points and grab the dragon in the center. Keep a control of that if we can. I'm probably going to go with... Um, I'm going to say Vala. She'll be a good one to go with. Or Li Ming maybe even. I kind of want to go with somebody who's not necessarily level 40. Because general level 40s can take care of their own if they're playing smart enough. Whereas the the 23 might have a little bit of trouble. So maybe I'll go with them to see if maybe we can kind of offset that skill imbalance. <clears throat> we'll see who goes with who though. Alright. Here we go. Got it. Got it. Oh. Got it. Back here. Got it. Yeah, we did it. Okay, so we're going to go with... Vala looks like she's going to go bot, so I'm going to go with her. Um, I'm kind of tied between Fist of Justice or Hammer of the Lightbringer. The energy sustain or the mana, just, mana sustain is really nice, but the cooldown on the Hammer of Justice is really good too. Uh, but let's go ahead and just go with the basic attacks, restore mana. Gonna keep me topped off if I can. There you go. There you goes. Okay. It's definitely going to be quite the match to go against here. We got a lot of uh, aggression in bot lane right now. Oh god, we just gave him every one of those. Alright, that was a good stun though. Go ahead and go with the uh, increase holy radiance width and length. Okay, so we're going more in aggressive style. So, like, if my talents are weird, that's the reason why. We're good. There you go. There we go. Nice. 
Nice, avoided all that. But he's just kind of sticking back trying to poke as much as he can. I don't think so. We can't get control of this point though. That's the problem. There we go. Thank you. Go, go, go. All right, we're going to do with the Holy Fire here. That right there. Where's uh? You sleeping? Okay. Yes. Okay. Just behind here. All right, sorry about that. My wife was talking to me for a second. Oh, it looks like I have to go back down to help bot. <laughs> All right. Get the energy back. We're gonna go ahead and get the Divine Storm. Divine Storms would be a great one for stunning. Uh, stuns pretty much everybody nearby. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't get a kill though. <laughs> I'm looking for the kills here. All right, getting some of that energy back too, or man, I keep saying energy, mana. This boom, get the heels off here, and it looks like we're gonna go in and grab this. Very nice, very nice. You're ours, you're ours. Here we go! All 
All right. So we're going to go ahead and go with um, probably the... I kind of want to go at the Holy Shock. Just because, you know, it gives me the ability to use my, my heal offensively, too. Be very careful here. Nice, nice. Oh, I missed her. Hey. Okay, we need a bounce. There we go. I don't have a lot of energy or mana. <laughs> I keep saying energy. God damn it. Let's go up and uh, go with this guy. Alright, so we got the Radiance one now. The more targets it hits, the more damage it does on the next cast. <coughs> You're not gonna kill me, bro. Okay, nice. I was coming down just in case. Ah, oh, I was really hoping we can get that going. Oh god. I saved you, but I died. Okay, well there you go. You guys got some heals. We get 16% increased damage on our next um, Holy Radiance here. Oh, get out of my face, freaking video encoder. Yeah, I was hoping I can chain those stuns, but I was just bad on timing. Looks like we got some good pushing on the bottom too. Go ahead and help um, Li Ming here. Looks like it's pretty dominant as far as what's going on so far. I'm a coming for you. Bam! <laughs> oh, jeez, chaining those stuns. So awesome. Let's go for the push. And it's out of ammo. There 
There we go. Looking good, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, they couldn't do anything. I've only died like what one time. Four kills, not too bad. Our damage output was extremely low, but we did a lot of control uh, while dishing out a little bit of damage on our end too. Overall, I think that it's okay. I wanted to try it out and see how it does. I think that in a different situation, we could have done a lot better, but my teammates were just phenomenal. Uh, so our damage wasn't really needed um, per se, but uh, the fact of the matter is, is that we did win, uh, and it did pretty well overall. I think, uh, in general, the going healer is far more beneficial because you can just keep your team topped off with Uther. He's a phenomenal healer. One of my favorites so far, uh, aside from uh, maybe um, Tarande. <clears throat> but there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the more aggressive Uther. I'll try different variants of it, too, in the future. Uh, I kind of want to sit down and actually do some theory crafting with the build itself. I kind of did one on the fly with this one. But I want to sit down and actually think about, okay, how can we make this work to make it be pretty effective? Uh, my biggest concern is that energy or mana deprivation in the beginning. If you don't get one of those first skills for mana sustainability, then you're going to have some trouble. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I kind of, I really want the talent where you can get the cooldown off of your Hammer of Justice by one second every time you do a basic attack. But, like I said, I needed the energy sustain. Energy, I keep saying energy. Sorry, I play a lot of Vainglory. In Vainglory, it's called energy. But I need mana sustain. And that way, that's the reason why I got that in the beginning, uh, the basic attacks. But there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!